What's up geeks and welcome to the channel. Today we're diving into Java 21 and 25, the most impactful releases in recent memory. Updates that don't just tweak syntax but actually reshape how we write, structure and reason about Java code. So let's break down each feature that truly affects developers with simple before and after explanations. Starting with record patterns and unnamed variables. Records act as Java's answer to lightweight data carriers. Before Java 21, we had to manually extract each field from a record using standard getter methods, which made the syntax repetitive and cluttered. With record patterns, we can now destructure records directly within expressions. And with unnamed variables, we can ignore values we don't care about with an underscore, allowing Java to unpack the data automatically. This makes our code cleaner, safer, and much easier to read, especially when dealing with nested record or structured data. Next up, pattern matching for switch. For years, switch statements were limited to basic constants and enums, forcing us into long chains of if-else blocks for type checking. With Java 21, switch becomes smarter. It can now match patterns directly, handle type checks, and even use guards for additional conditions. This means our code is more expressive, safer, and far easier to maintain, bringing a modern, pattern-driven elegance to one of Java's oldest control structures. Moving to one of the biggest updates ever introduced, virtual threads, part of Project Loom. Traditional threads in Java are heavy, consuming significant memory and OS resources, which limits how many we can run concurrently. Virtual threads are lightweight and fully managed by the JVM, allowing us to create thousands or even millions of threads without the usual overhead. This fundamentally changes how we write concurrent programs, making it possible for each task or request to have its own thread without worrying about scalability or complex thread pool management. Then we have sequenced collections. For a long time, working with lists, sets, and maps meant dealing with inconsistent ways to access elements in order. Each collection type had its own methods, making it tricky to write generic code for ordered access. Java 21 introduces a unified API with methods like first method, last method, and reversed method, allowing us to work with any sequenced collection in a consistent and predictable way. This makes ordered operations far simpler and more readable across different collection types. Now we can grab the first or last elements using the same API. No need to worry about whether it's a set, list, or queue behind the scenes. Finally, unnamed classes and instance main methods. Writing a full class with a static main method has always felt like overkill for small scripts or quick experiments. Java 21 now lets us declare a main method directly in a source file without a class, eliminating boilerplate while keeping code readable. It's ideal for quick demos, small tests, or teaching beginners. So, in short, Java 21 isn't just a collection of features, it's a philosophy shift. It feels less like an update and more like a modernization, one where simplicity, readability, and concurrency live in harmony. And if Java 21 marked the beginning of modern Java, Java 25 is where it matures, finalizing previews, polishing syntax, and adding features that make our code leaner, smarter, and more expressive. So let's break down the developer-facing features that truly matter in this release, one by one, with a quick look at how things worked before and how they look now. Let's start with primitive patterns. Pattern matching in Java 25 now extends beyond objects to include primitive types like int, double, and boolean directly in switch statements and instance of checks. Before, we had to manually unbox values and cast them to the right type, which made the code verbose and error-prone. With primitive patterns, Java can match and bind primitives directly in a type-safe, concise, and unboxed way, making pattern matching truly universal across all data types. Next up, module import declarations. Modular programming in Java has always been powerful, but a bit verbose, requiring repetitive package imports throughout the code. Java 25 simplifies this with the new import module syntax, allowing us to import an entire module in a single line. This small addition reduces boilerplate, improves readability, and makes working with modular code bases much more convenient. Moving on to flexible constructor bodies. Records in Java are great for immutable data, but until now their constructors have been very limited, forcing us to use separate factory methods for validation or transformations. Java 25 lifts this restriction, allowing record constructors to include logic directly. This makes record definitions more powerful and expressive while keeping their concise syntax, enabling real-world usage like validating fields or computing derived values inside the constructor. 
Next, scoped values. This feature has graduated from preview to a standard API. Scoped values allow us to safely share immutable data across threads, particularly virtual threads, without the complexity and pitfalls of thread local. Previously, we had to manually manage thread-specific contexts or rely on multiple globals. Now we can bind a value to a scope, access it safely within tasks, and have it automatically cleaned up when the scope ends, making thread-safe context propagation simple and reliable. Stable values complement scoped values by introducing immutable references that guarantee consistency when shared between threads. Previously, thread-safe data sharing often required final threads, thread local, or atomic references, which were either verbose or low-level. Stable values make this pattern explicit and optimized, giving developers a safe, lightweight way to work with immutable state across concurrent tasks. Together, they make thread-safe state sharing simple, lightweight, and reliable. Finally, structured concurrency. Now a standard feature, it builds on virtual threads by bringing order to multi-threading chaos. Instead of manually creating threads, tracking futures, and handling shutdowns, we can group related tasks into a single logical unit. The JVM manages their lifecycle, ensures proper shutdown, and propagates errors correctly. Together with virtual threads, it dramatically improves the readability, reliability, and maintainability of concurrent code. Java 25 isn't about reinvention, it's about refinement. It builds on Java 21, polishes syntax, and brings consistency to how we write and reason about code. Modern Java at its best, expressive, minimal, and powerful. And that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. Thank you guys for watching. Take care, and I will see you in the next one.